leave a like for you know what is going on guys welcome back to another video today I'm going to show you one trick that can teach you three tricks actually more than three okay three whole new different flips okay respect the skills respect the skills leave a like for Leo Did you hear it? What is this? Leave that video. Let's get into the video, okay? One trick that can teach you a whole bunch of other new tricks, okay? I've already made a specific tutorial about this trick, and the trick is. The one and only Makaku, okay? Yes! Another video about the Makaku. I talk about this trick the whole time on my channel. Let's just begin with the first trick that you can learn with this trick. Obviously, the first one is the, the backflip. One only backflip. You can learn the backflip with this trick. How do you learn backflip with this trick? Of course, <laughs> you start with the Makaku, but then you start to do it less over your shoulder and more over your head and more and more and more and more and more till you actually do the backflip. Sounds like that's a, a little bit too easy just for now to explain it really quick. I'll show you right now. In five steps. That's it. That's a really quick progression on how you can learn the backflip with the macaco, okay? So why is this trick so handy? First, let's let's ask ourselves why are backwards flips so scary? Of course, very simple. With a backward backwards flip, you can't see where you're going. With a front flip, you can spot the ground before you're gonna take off. With a backflip, you can't, obviously, okay? Because you can't see where you're going. But if you look over your shoulder, you can see where you're going. And that's where the Makaku comes in real handy. Because with the Makaku, that trick is li like designed to do it over your shoulder and over the side. You can look over your shoulder and you can actually see the ground with a backwards flip. And that's why this trick is so nice to do because you can like cheat the system. Normally you can't see the ground behind you with a backflip or any backwards flip. But with the Makaku you can, and that's why this progression from the Makaku to the backflip is not scary, because you can actually see the ground. Problem solved Makaku. Okay, so uh, uh, with the backflip full twist, you can also spot the ground. You're coming here, boom, and then you can already see the ground. But if you can do a full twist, or if you're trying to learn how to full twist, you can already do a backflip. So, you know, the problem is not with the full twist, the problem is with the backflip, the back handspring, the gainer, the beginner backwards flips, okay? That's where this trick is for, the Makaku. So, that's the first trick, of course, you can learn with the Makaku, the backflip. Let's move on to the second trick. Of course, the second trick, you can already guess it, it's the backhand spring. This one is even better, okay? Because if there's one trick that is almost the same as a Makaku, it's the backhand spring. The backhand spring is literally a Makaku, but then straight over your head. Split screen right now, Makaku and a backhand spring. It's so dark. Not anymore. As you can see, very similar movements, but the back handspring is straight and, he, uh, and with both arms. And the Makaku is over the side with one arm. So you can learn the back handspring with this trick. I'm going to show you the progression, how it's going to look like. Again in five steps. Why not? That is how you can learn, how you can turn the Makaku into the back handspring. I also made a back handspring tutorial, of course, if you wanna see that one. I'll leave it in the comments or in the description, or even both. You can check that out if you wanna learn how to back handspring. This is one of the easiest tricks ever. It's literally in the same category as a cartwheel, round off, front roll. The Makaku is literally in the same category when it comes to difficulty, okay? It's not much diff more difficult than a round off. Or a cartwheel. So with the cartwheel, which which tricks can you actually learn with a cartwheel? The cartwheel itself, maybe some twisting cartwheel variation stuff, but not much more. You can combo it, but you can't learn the actual whole new trick with the cartwheel. But with the makaku, you can turn literally the whole easy flip into a much more difficult flip. Actually, it's a trick that you turn into a flip. Okay, the third trick that I'm gonna show you in this video. There are more tricks that you can learn, 
but I'm gonna show you three in this video okay maybe there's a part two coming up about the makaku about which tricks you can learn with the makaku so the third trick is one only gainer kick to the moon gainer gainer flash cheat gainer this is the trick I also made a tutorial about this one I'll leave that one also in the description check it out <laughs> uh, this is the trick Respect the skills. The noise! Hey, hey, hey. I rarely ever zoom in like this. I, I need to do that more often. I don't know why, it's just whoop, fun to do. I got the skills. So, respect the skills. Okay, anyway. I don't know what that, what that was about. Oh, the sun and the gun. The sound is gone. The sun is coming through. Time to talk. So, the gainer. I'm gonna show you again. I'll just show you five steps. Okay, one more extra step. I needed one more extra step, but you get it. About five steps, just to explain it, okay? So yeah, that's another progression, another trick that, can, that you can learn. With this trick, comment down below if you hate neighbors. Hey. Because of the noise. So I think that were the three tricks, the three, three what? The three first tricks that you can learn with the makaku. There's a, I think a part two coming up about more tricks they can learn with the makaku. So I'm gonna end the video cause this noise. I hope you got value out of this. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Do you actually use the makaku to learn your backwards flips? Or if you can already do them, did you use the makaku? I want to thank you once again for subscribing. If you're one of the recent new subscribers, special thanks. Maybe we'll hit 100 at the end of this year. I think I'm going to end with a 70 or 80, but we'll see. So yeah, thanks, special thanks. Let's go. Stay tuned, five videos a week. Sorry about the background noise. I hope that's what I mean. I hope it wasn't too irritating throughout this video. I try to talk whenever this is quiet. If you got any, any problems, questions, whatever, comment down below and I'll jump in there. We will figure it out. I'm gonna end the video really quick. This is irritating. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it all the way through the video. As I said, stay tuned five videos a week and respect the skills. Respect the skills. Leave a like for Leo, Little Red. I gotta say what I always say. Have a great day and I'm gonna catch you on the flip side. Peace. I rarely ever zoom in like this. I, I need to do that more often. I don't know why, it's just whoop, fun to do. I got the skills. So, respect the skills. Okay, anyways, I don't know what that, what that was about. Okay.